Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 18 <laughs> of the Rico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem. Uh, before I start, I want to address yesterday's video a little bit and comments. Uh, just to be clear, I don't, I don't really care that much. Um, I don't know if I'm being disrespected. I'm just saying it's disrespectful, right? That, there's a little bit of a nuance there because there's a subject in one of them. Um, I don't care that much. But I'm also just saying, like, uh, I, I, you know, uh, if you if you if you say something and you don't get a response, uh, either from me or someone at work or you know someone you ask a question to, um, or sometimes if they're polite, they may answer it in a way that you still don't have an answer, but you know, but in a polite way. Uh, I'm just telling you straight that hey, learn to ask questions. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Like any of you, you know, insisting on, on people giving you, you know, uh, free free uh, time, the most valuable thing that usually the more important people have, uh, you know, it gets annoying. But people will just ignore you, right? So my, my that's really my point. I I personally don't care that much, you know. Um, that's the that's the um, to be honest, this that's the beauty of this channel, the server. Is that, and I said this actually on my Discord just yesterday or the day before. I come to my Discord. Uh, is that unlike a lot of influencers, I do not make money from this. I do not intend to make money from this uh, <laughs> because I feel like, and and this isn't strictly hundred percent true. There are other dimensions, right? One is that teaching soft, you know, uh, being a teacher, teaching software or whatever, teaching anything is not the same as doing the thing, right? Uh, and me, I'm very good at what I do. And it turns out, as you may know from other clickbait links, but sometimes those clickbait links have some pieces of truth, is that people make a lot of money in these jobs. So if I'm making money from my YouTube channels, I consider it failed, you know? Or, or, or rather, okay, actually that's the wrong way to phrase it. What I mean is that if I think that I can do if I can make more money from YouTube videos than actually being good at my job, and I'm very good at my job for the most part, uh, and my job is being a software engineer, um, I, you know, that means that I'm probably not a good software engineer. And I also say that uh, if someone's an influencer who, who, is, who thinks that they can make more money you know, teaching software engineering versus actually doing software engineering, well, it, it you know it could be a couple of things. One is that they they might not be a good engineer. You know, uh, I mean they may also just not care to be a good engineer. They may not care to be a good engineer, which is also a fair thing. Not everyone has to love everything, but still, uh, and maybe they're an amazing teacher and they think they're an amazing teacher. But you know, uh, I think I'm an okay teacher. I don't know that I'm amazing, but I am. I do know that I'm a very good software engineer. So. Not gonna make money from this, right? So my point is this: uh, be careful who you listen to. But when you do have someone's time, just re you know respect the time and think about it and ask it in a way that doesn't waste people's time. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm I'm not offended if you try to waste my time. I mean, okay, sometimes I am a little bit, depending on how you do it. Like if you just like mean or something, but. Me or other people who has who you know uh, at a certain point you, you get to you know uh, uh, your time is or my my time is worth more than whatever and I'm just not responding right and whoever, whomever you're asking the question if they're important people I'm not eh, I'm not that important but you know if if you have you know uh, an opportunity to do something then like you know uh, respect that time and respect the thought um, and and. Sometimes people are moved by, uh, you know, a thoughtful resp uh, question, a thoughtful response. But when, when something is just like, I don't understand, there's no thought into it, I will also respond in kind. You didn't put effort into your question, I'm not going to put effort into the response, or sometimes I just don't respond, right? So then, you know, that's not, and to me, just to be clear, that's not on me, that's on you, and you don't get anything from it, right? Like, I'm, I don't know, I'm not trying to, you know, make money from you. So yeah, um, <clears throat> so 
So yeah, that so with all that said, I hope that clears it up. My point is to just ask better questions or ask questions in a way, and I'm mean, trying to give an example and a philosophy so that you may actually get a response. Otherwise, you just won't get a response. People just ignore you, and then you wonder why, and you think people are being mean or being whatever. No, you're just being you know you, you might not ask in a good way. You. You have to try your best, even when asking questions, especially when you're asking questions, because you're literally asking people to give them some of the most valuable thing that they can have, which is their time. Right? Anyway, all right. Uh, but anyway, all right. Let's get started today's poem. Hopefully, this makes sense. Uh, I, I, I will actually just say one more thing because people have been uh, kind of, I, I don't know, it's, it's kind of cool in a way, but maybe a little bit weird because I'm not like, you know, super jacked or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, today I actually did go to strength training, but just really out of it. I think yesterday because uh, I, I did softball, uh, it's kind of like baseball or if you're Indian, it's kind of like cricket, but different, the rules are different, but I'm hitting a ball uh, coming at me, right? Uh, but part of that is that there's a lot of running, uh, and I think I just my muscle just w wasn't firing today. And I think one thing that I want to say about that is that, um, you know, when you're young, you may not know the difference, but after a few times, you may actually notice the difference, which is that there is stuff that you can grind through when you know that hey, Larry, you're just being a little bit you know weak or wussy or whatever, right? Whatever time you want to go, ahead, just fight through it. And there are days where like. I know that, or I feel that you have to listen to your body, and you have to learn to listen to your body. Um, I listen to my body. I'm like, okay, yeah, I, you know, like it's all in my head. I'm like, I'm my head is feeling tired, but my body feels okay. So that's just grind food, right? And there are days like today where I'm, I was doing uh, tricep pull downs, and I was like, mm, some of the ligament doesn't feel right for some reason. Like the, I don't know if it's angle or something, but it's okay to to take time off and just rest. Remember. Uh, you know, um, all the gains for running, for muscle building is done when you're recovering, right? And when you're sleeping, when you're, you know, when your body is making all stuff. And it's the same thing with, with a lot of these things, right? Sometimes, I mean, the injury you risk is probably a little bit less when doing lead code. I mean, maybe you hurt your fingers if you're typing too much, but, but still, it's okay to rest. Um, I have a, you know, uh, I have a video about streaks and, I think something. This is something that uh, someone on my channel or uh, on my server also talks about. Is um, I don't know. I mean, I, I think he's been grinding very well. Uh, he's been doing hard problems every day or every other day or something like this. Uh, Archie, I'm talking about you. But I think you need to space that out. I think. Um, I mean, maybe not, I don't know. I, I think at some. I mean, this is something that I always put a lot of focus on as well. Right? Is that. Um, everyone learns differently, so you have to figure out what works best for you. But it, it, but if you find that what isn't working for you, you have to mix it up or try something new, right? Like on a meta level, not just like the same problem. Um, and as I always say, you know, um, this is about problem solving, not pattern matching, right? I mean, and yeah, we'll get to that another point. But my point is that it's okay to take some rest. It's okay to break some streaks. Streaks don't matter, you know, that much. Um, it's just about, you know, focusing on the learning and focusing on problem solving. All right, let's actually get started on um, another day with a 10 minute intro. Uh, I, I got to push some of these uh, things into my other channel, uh, but I don't know, I just want to get it out there. So yeah, uh, today's problem is a 26 most profit assigning work. You have N jobs and M workers. You're given three arrays, difficulty, profit, worker, where difficulty sub I and profit sub I are difficulty and the profit of the I've job. And worker sub J is the ability of the Jth worker. Every worker can be assigned at most one job and one job can be completed multiple times. Where are the workers again? Oh, oh, oh. I, I only saw this on the exam. I only saw two. Okay. So they are workers and you have difficulty and profit, right? Okay, we turn the maximum. But okay, so here, the four in theory you want to assign uh, f four and two 
and the max is going to be not four and two but these are the jobs that you can do so you have 20 and 10 and then okay so i mean this just becomes a sorting problem if i'm reading it correctly just that for each worker um you find a job that that gives you the maximized profit right and it's kind of uh yeah i think it should be pretty straightforward and it is greedy in a way that i think is uh pretty intuitive um but um Yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty much it. So first we'll sort the workers, and then now we want to sort um, difficulty and profit so that we get it in a way that we can queue it up. So maybe I would have, say, like a work queue or something like this, is to go to collections.deck, and then we want um, a sip of difficulty and profit, except for we want to sort this by... Um, what do we want to sort it by, right? We want to sort it by, uh, let's just say, W for work. Um, well, we want the easy difficulty first, and the profit doesn't really matter, because, right? In this case, because um, we'll unpop everything at the same time, right? So then now, we, maybe we just have a current uh, profit as you go... Oh, <laughs> same shadow. I, I sometimes I do that, and then I'm, and then it just doesn't happen. Though it doesn't really matter per se in this particular room because we're using work queue. But still, so then now we have four double uh four worker in worker. Uh, this should be workers, right? Eh, whatever. Okay, fine. Right for work, for worker and workers, and then now we can do something like while length of work queue is greater than zero, and um. And uh, what's it called? Oh, yeah, work queue. And then the difficult, so this is the beginning of the queue. And then the the difficulty part of the queue. I wish there's a, mm, I, I say I wish there's a, I was almost going to say I wish there was a better way to write this than there is. And it's by using name tuples. Uh, but I am a little bit lazy. Uh, uh, let's do, let's do a name tuple quick, right? So then maybe uh, work job is equal to name tuple. Tuple, I think I think this is the thing, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, so maybe a job, and then it contains difficulty and oops, profit. I don't I don't know if this is the right syntax. I always it's been a while, and maybe I just need to be better job of uh, 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 doing that. And then now zip, right? So now we zip it. So then we have to do a. a Oh, this isn't a work job thing. This is a work job thing. And yeah, okay, that's what I mean. Uh, and then now I have a work job of DP for DP in da -da 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 -da, right? Maybe there's a cleaner way to write this, but for now, uh, if you do know, let, let me know in the comments or if you feel like you think. And then now the, the be benefits that we can write difficulty. And this is slightly easier to read, though obviously we, we did a lot more setup, right? Anyway, the difficulty is um, less than or equal to um, the worker. I guess worker is just the strength or whatever it is called. And then the, this is the current profit, but we also want to get the best job, right? So. Uh, Let's go to zero. And then while this is the case, we want to pop it. But before that, uh, we uh, I guess we could just, oh, this is pop left. Uh, um, but uh, pop left, we have the current difficulty and the profit. Uh, this is so bad. All right, let's say current profit, right? Uh, so this is that, right, of the thing. Oh, I can, this is a t not a tuple, right? So this is a work job. So I guess that's one thing that's a little bit weird about it. But uh, yeah, so then now um, best job is you go to max best job uh, wj dot profit right, and that's basically the idea. And then now um, current profit it, we just add it to the best job because best job now contains all the jobs. Well, the best of the jobs where the difficulty is less than uh, worker right, and that's basically the idea. And then at the end, we just sum up all the profits. 
uh, unless I misunderstood this one, of course. Uh, so, do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. I think I need a list here. This is a generator function. Mm -hmm. Too many values to impact. Um, hmm. Is it named tuple? I forget what it's called. Uh, tuples. I forget the oh, name tuples. What, what, what was the other one? Hmm. That's wild. All right. I just forget the exact keyword things. Uh, all right, looks good. Let's give it a quick submit. Oh, I haven't done this before. Oh, well, that's pretty good. 1540 day streak. Uh, and yeah, that's all I have for this one. This is just a sorting, right? There's sorting uh, and sorting. So this is, let's just say J is equal to number of jobs. W is number of workers. And this is just going to be J log J. Uh, w uh, log W. Oh, wait, I, I highlight the wrong thing. W log W. And this is linear. This is linear. And everything else is pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Um, I think the I, the biggest idea about this problem is to break it down to pieces that you um, are trying to think about. And here, the, I, 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 I kind of went over it, but maybe a little bit too quick, to be honest, is that I wanted to say, okay, for each worker, I want to find the job that's best for it. Um, and then the next thing that I thought about was, okay, is there any structure that we can um, create to make it so that we don't do that much additional work? And here, the idea here is that, okay, we sort it in increasing order then that means that we can also sort the profits i mean oh sorry sorry the difficult or the jobs in general by difficulty in increasing order so that you could get a two pointers algorithm right so this is this or two fingers algorithm that's basically what this is here right we have one finger on the workers one finger on the jobs and you just kind of move them along and then um as you move the jobs pointers you figure out the max of the jobs that you've seen and of course in this particular case it's just a regular max function so this is how we kind of break it down. Um, cool. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good. Stay healthy. Do your mental health. Always reading your comments. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.